everyone i hope you're all doing well as you know tomorrow is the international women's day and we thought to go around and ask people a few questions so i have my beautiful my best friend nafisa here so nafisa okay so basically we just want to uh give you like a little rundown of what international women's day is it's celebrated on the 8th of march in order to acknowledge women's accomplishments every everywhere um this includes what they are doing what they will be doing what they did in the past what would you change about the assumptions made by men of women for me it is uh, men should do what women can do to be equal <laughs> to be equally treated and treated, also given opportunities. Yeah, treated, not only by, uh, for the children, if they have children, not only for other people or not only in their workplace, uh, not only for the achievement of the society, community, or in a family, because it's always start with a family. As a whole, inter international, you know, every one of us is to become prog progressive. What men can do is women can do. but. It should be equal. Men should have to a little bit <laughs> responsible, responsible rather than women. Yeah, it's fair. Uh, like what men can do to help achieve equality in society. So what could something that a man could do that could benefit women that would help bring both of us at an equal power in society? Like when it comes to workplace or mm. um, even like anywhere else. Sometimes men is... Not all men as a whole. It should be men is, because they are men, right? So they should have to be a little bit uh, responsible. What would they change about the assumptions made by men of women? I would change the fact that they think that we can't do anything for ourselves. <laughs> what can man do to achieve equality? Like literally stop man spinning. Like literally that's it. We should, I think men should probably try and take up a little less of the conversation. I think sometimes um, men are a little overconfident and I think that sometimes leads to uh, women feeling kind of displaced from the conversation or also maybe feeling like less confident than they should be uh, in their abilities. I guess it's not like necessarily assumptions but I do feel like there's a lot of, uh, like especially from my own experiences, like especially judgments about like someone's appearance, like a female, a woman's appearance can sometimes trump what like she actually does or her personality. Um, and that's not all the time, but it's just something that I've kind of noticed. I think just like recognizing that like women are more than just how they look, which that's really basic, but um, just like going a bit beyond that and recognizing their achievements more so. I would say that the assumptions made uh, by men of women in society are primarily over sexualization of women and also the idea that women belong in certain fields. So I have friends in engineering, for example, and their whole entire class is filled with men. So I think that kind of there's many assumptions about where women belong and those are what need to be tackled. What can men do to help achieve equality? Like one thing that they could possibly change that would really help Oh, I love Perfect. the answers. I feel like a lot of times we tend to, maybe not so much in a malicious sense, but I think in certain professional atmosphere, a lot of people, men in particular, may feel that women can't carry the same duties and responsibilities as, as men, or they're less willing to trust women in positions of power, and I think that's completely ridiculous. Uh, we're all created equal. Every, every woman I know has accomplished so many wonderful things in their lives and I think we should be in a position where we're encouraging women to reach their best potential free of any bias or restrictions. It's ridiculous and it's something that we need to stop now. Uh, personally, something I know I could do better is encouraging all the women in our lives. Not just those in our family, not just our mothers and our sisters, but every single woman. Every single person right here, every single person on UBC is somebody's mom, somebody's daughter, somebody's sister, and we should be doing our best to make sure that we create a world that's suited for those people. What would you change about the assumptions made by men of women in society? I think as an active member of uh, outdoors community, I think there are a lot of biases towards women, that they are not capable of doing something. For example, that they're not as good as in climbing as men, they're not as strong. But I strongly believe that women are capable of doing anything they want, and if they put a lot of work, they can achieve everything they want. Uh, that's, yeah, I, I just agree to it, because like, all my climbing skills or whatever comes from this girl right here. <laughs> and what can you as a man do to help achieve more equality? Or what do you think men in general can do to achieve more equality in society? Uh, 
I feel like a lot of men just don't acknowledge the fact that there's inequality in our society, no matter how, let's say, developed uh, these societies are. Uh, and, and just this like small act of just acknowledging the, this fact will just go a long way. What about the assumptions made by men of women in society? I would say like one of the biggest things in like the realm of sports is just basically the like prerequisites of getting into the space of sport and I'm assuming it's like that with every other area is that they're always based on what are like the accomplishments or the accomplishments that they've already hit. So like going into the into the professional space, you're not going to make it as a professional female athlete if you haven't won in college, in high school, and this, this, and this, where men are more or less seen as we're going to see the potential in it, we're going to see because there is a higher grade. And yeah, just like the amount of like physical activity is very, very similar. It's just a very different game for like every sport, you know, like it's just the amount of ability and passion that all genders have, I think is very, very equal. It's just the caliber of what is told is better is what's, you know, that's what makes men's sport more popular is because we're not told or like shown or given the opportunity to watch more females in sport. But yeah, so it's just allowing the potential to show, I think is one of the biggest things that, that can change. What can men do that would help make society more equal for women? Um, in like the realm of sports, just watch, that's it. Like all you have to do is just like watch a sport that is women's focus. You know, like there's NBA, there's WNBA, there's golf, there's women's golf. There's like all these sports that are like a very, very transferable. And like you can give so much power to half of the athletic population by just watching. I'm just gonna say that um, for the first one, the assumption a women's role is to be at home and then to like nurture kids and stuff. I don't like that assumption. And women who are not as loving or caring are then criticized because um, they're not fitting into that role of um, caregiver and things like that. I think that something that men could do would be to encourage their moms, sisters, aunts, cousins, um, especially in families who are more traditional and more conservative to just go out and then stand up for their relatives and stuff and encourage them to do things like that, to do um, things out of their traditional role. For the first question, I'm not entirely sure if it's an assumption, but it's exhausting to have to think about all the different ways and all the different um, like categories you fit into every day, just waking up in the morning and existing as a like woman, it's exhausting because when you're going to class, it's like you have to look a certain way or speak a certain way or have an like overwhelming pool of knowledge in order to be even taken seriously. Yeah. And it's exhausting because there's, I, I, I mean, I've been in so many different classrooms where guys have like a, you know, very baseline knowledge on a certain topic and they talk like they invented the topic. It's like, wow, I wish I had that kind of confidence, but it's like, I'm living in a society where I'm not encouraged to have that kind of confidence in myself, and that's exhausting. Um, but a way that I guess men could make that better is just like, listen. Like, you don't have to dominate every conversation. The woman's day. Oh, how do you say it in Russian? So in Russian, it's just called 8 of March, so we just say Svesmu Marta. <laughs> well, um, I think there you have it. We asked a bunch of people and we got some amazing responses. Yes, exactly. I'm really happy with how uh, aware people are of the, the situation and how like equal most of the people that we've spoken to today have like really given us a great perspective and we're so glad that we go to school with these wonderful, innovative and modern minds. Yeah. And I just want to wish all the women out there a happy International Women's Day and I hope you guys keep pursuing and keep pushing and don't let any societal boundaries stop you. <laughs> and don't forget to like, subscribe for more videos.